First, we're going to show how to set up your zero tier network. Zero tier offers services and infrastructure for creating a software defined wide area network across internet connected devices. TAC uses a direct connection architecture, so you would need an addressable IPv4 address for each device you'd like to connect to. So to bypass issues such as network address translation, we will use zero tier to connect devices across the globe, even ones hiding behind a NAT device, such as a router. To create a network, you'll want to create a zero tier account and sign into it, and then navigate to the networks tab. You can select create a new network to populate a new network in this table below. Each network will have a unique ID, and you can select the name in order to configure the network. First, you might want to change the name. You'll also want to set your access control. So with private access control, new members will have to be authorized on this page in order to have access to the network. You could also do public if that suits you, they will automatically be authorized to the network. In the advanced section, you'll want to select a subnet for your network. I chose 10.244. Um, and I recommend the easy mode of the IPv4 auto assign. This will handle the managed routes and everything. So then you can advance. Um, you might wanna make sure the multicast recipient limit is as least, at least as large as the number of people you would like to support. This includes the TACGM op uh, operator. And finally, this is the members um, section. This is where you'll see all the members which have attempted to connect with the network. If you are doing private access control, then you'll have to click this check mark for each of the authorized members. This will also show um, the addressable IP address for each device on the network. So if I wanted to communicate with Jackson's PC, I would use the IPv4 address displayed here. So we've created our zero tier network. Now we need to download, install, and configure zero tier on each of our devices. So each TAC device, as well as the TACGM operator device. The installation will differ depending on the platform, but it's supported on all major operating systems. And the configuration is rather intuitive, so it's similar across all of the platforms. So at this point, you should have the zero tier one application installed on your device. Now these steps will differ depending on the platform. However, on all of them, it is quite similar. You'll want to start the zero tier application. For me, it likes to hide inside this little toolbar. So I'm gonna click on it and you would select join network. Now in this text box, you're going to paste the network ID as you see it on the administrative panel or as it was shared with you. And you're going to continue as it is and click join. If the access control on the network is private, the admin will have to go in and manually authenticate each new user. But once you're authenticated, when you click on it again, you should see TACGM or whatever you name the network populated here with a check bar or a check mark next to it. 